The doll that doesn't actually move or talk is back, and she's as creepy as ever. Annabelle Comes Home, movie review. Hey, Twisted People, it's your Twisted Girl here, and today I am reviewing Annabelle Comes Home the third in the Annabelle franchise. While babysitting the daughter of Ed and Lorraine Warren, a teenager and her friend unknowingly awaken an evil spirit trapped in a doll. Annabelle Comes Home is the third in the franchise, yes, but it still delivers on the old school scares that we have come to love from this whole entire Conjuring universe, although this film felt a little bit younger in tone. Scares! One of the things I love about the films in the Conjuring universe is that usually there's a good amount of old school jump scares, like what's in the darkness and things. And then sometimes they balance it out with more of an atmospheric kind of fear and horror that uh, can also resonate with you a little bit deeper than a jump scare would on the second or third viewing of a film. And some films do it better than others. Some films, like we've seen in the past when it comes to the Conjuring universe, like some could argue that The Nun was a lot of jump scares and not as much atmospheric, while the first Conjuring was very atmospheric and had a few jump scares, but it was a great balance of both. And I think with Annabelle Comes Home, there was a good balance. I would say that this leaned a little bit closer to the jump scare kind of deal, and that's okay. So in first viewing, you're going to have a lot of fun watching it with some of the things that happen. I think watching it a second or third time, it's a bit more like you would be able to tell that it's going to happen. And maybe you'd still feel scared, but there are some really good really good frightening moments here and there that doesn't just depend on the fact that you don't know what's about to happen for it to really affect you. So there's moments like that. So I think this movie was scary and that's definitely a pro for me if it's going to be a horror picture. Universe building. The Conjuring universe has a great deal of movies in it already, which is, I just love it. I just think, you know, in a world right now of a lot of reboots and remakes, it's nice to have a film franchise or a film universe franchise that definitely wants to tell you new kind of stories, even though it's old school kind of horror in a way, which I think we're lacking these days. So I'm always here for old school horror of of ghosts and what's in the darkness and things. I think it does a very good job of telling you new stories and introducing us to new stories throughout each new film. Not so much so that you feel like if you didn't watch any of the previous films, you wouldn't get certain things. Um, But there are Easter eggs in there for those of us who do watch the other films. Kind of like, I mean, not to mention that during a horror review, but like, I guess you can kind of say like the Marvel Cinematic Universe where, you know, there's so many different movies, but you don't have to watch every one to get everything. I think the Conjuring Universe does that well enough too. So it's really appreciated for seeing how this world is being built out with the different monsters and the different uh, kind of protagonists. It's really kind of great to see it shaping up in such a way that feels so massive and just... I don't know. I feel like, is this the first time that this has been, has been done or not? You know, where, yeah, we've had horror franchises before where there's one particular monster. But to have a whole universe of monsters and things and protagonists and different franchise within that, I think this maybe might be the first time. I know Stephen King kind of does that where it's loosely connected. But this this franchise does it where it's very much a direct connection. And they're doing such a great job of it, in my opinion. So I love the universe building because you get that in this film too. Payoff. What I mean by that is that Another thing that I like about the themes in the Conjuring Universe stories is that there's a hopeful kind of storytelling that happens that you don't always get with horror pictures. I I think some people take a very nihilistic approach with horror pictures these days where it's just total doom and gloom and there's no happy ending for anybody. And I, I do like the fact that when you go see... Good amount. Not all of these movies have happy or decent endings uh, where someone at least comes out slightly happy. But I do like the idea that when you go into these kind of films, you kind of know that it won't complete, completely depress you when you leave out, which is nice, even though it's a horror, a horror picture, because it deals more with the mysterious, which is fear. You know, people tend to fear what they don't know. That's what it plays on a lot of time and the unknown of the great beyond and the further and things of that nature. But 
it does it in a way that you know, it's not completely like, oh, it's all evil and it's no hope in anything. And I, I like that kind of feeling that it gives you. Um, not to say how it ends or whatnot like that, but I'm saying throughout that's interwoven and the characters re the characters kind of reflect that where some characters are likable, some characters aren't likable, some characters you hope for the best for them. Some characters you could do without. And it gives you that balance of this is humanity. And yes, there's supernatural stuff going on here, but it tells you a story that really at the heart of it is about people dealing with extraordinary things. Tone. This isn't really a glaring con, but I will say in relation to Annabelle creation, which I absolutely loved. I loved Annabelle creation. It was so terrifying, that film to me. Oh my gosh, it was so creepy. And I think this film, Annabelle Comes Home, wasn't as intense as the second one was. Which, and I say it wasn't as intense is, you know, although in the second one, the characters, the main characters were young girls, it didn't feel like a young movie, right? And Annabelle Comes Home kind of felt like a young movie. I felt like it leaned a little bit more on the teenager aspect of things of like young love young crushes you know issues with parents and authority and stuff like that and it played a little bit more into that sort of tone and I think I don't know whether that was to like widen the, the audience or something and so because of that it, it kind of I kind of got goosebumps feels you know, if you know Goosebumps, R.L. Stein, shout out to R.L. Stein for that. Love Goosebumps. But I loved it when I was like 14, right? And so I wasn't expecting that so much when I was going into the theater. So considering that the second one, even though it had young girls in it, it was so intensely terrifying. But this one felt a little bit more like Nick at Night. A little bit. Um, not glaring, but it definitely felt younger in tone. Predictable. I'm not necessarily saying that's a bad thing, but if you're going in there thinking you're going to get some real crazy twist when it comes to the Annabelle doll and, and the plot, uh, yeah, that's not happening. And that's okay. It's all right. I mean, it's just, you know, some people have an issue when, you know, it's kind of like, well, why is there another movie if it's not going to be like a total game changer? It's not a total game changer. It just tells another story within this demonic doll's story. So, yeah family death there is mentions of family members dying in this film so if that's something that gets to you be prepared for that is annabelle comes home twisted approved yes it is twisted approved i i love the conjuring universe i really do and maybe that's why i'm a little bit biased because you know i actually gave the nun a really good review too and i know a lot of people didn't care for that one but yeah there's just something about old school horror that you know with a new face that i think the conjuring universe does and annabelle comes home is within that trajectory of what is being done and it's a good time it's a good time watching a movie Okay, Twisted People, so that is my review of Annabelle Comes Home. I was digging the film. I loved it. It's another great addition in the Conjuring universe, the horror universe of the Conjuring. I dug it. Let me know your thoughts, though, on the film. Comment down below with your thoughts and your feelings. Do you agree with my cons? Do you agree with my pros? What are your counters? Are you looking forward to watching the film if you haven't watched it yet? And also, remember that if you're going to spoil it in the comment section, I just hope that you would be considerate of the rest of the viewers who have not seen it to put a spoiler warning right before you do it so we can engage and no one has to be unintentionally spoiled and also because there always is another also be sure to subscribe so that you're the first to know when I post my videos thanks for watching